Today we will see fork system call. Fork system call is used to create a new process. This new process is also called child process. Okay, this when fork system call is uh, executed, a child process created. This child process copies the same code of the parent process. See, let's see this. Suppose this is a parent process, and when in this parent process, when fork system call is executed, a child child process created. Okay, child process created, and it has the same code of the parent process. That is, it copies the same code. this child process has the same code of the parent process and it also has the it also shares same program counter and same cpu registers and same open files this this say uh, the parent process program counter cpu register and open files are shared by the child process okay when this parent executes for this child process uh, created and these two run concurrently okay uh, then uh, in this parent process fork returns the child process process id okay let's take a variable pid in this pid the uh, process id of the child process store and as it uh, as it uh, child copies the same code here also the same code is there and when here pid for when fork is executed here in child process it fork returns zero okay in child process fork returns zero and parent process fork returns process id of the child okay mm. then in child the uh, execution does not start from may uh, starting it start from here because as a parent a parent is start uh, executed for child is created so as uh, this child uh, shares the program counter cpu register and open files as a in program counter the next instruction executed is here so in child it start executing from here so when a fork is executed in child it returns zero okay um, to know the process id of the parent and child there is a system called get pid get pid will return the process id of the uh, process which is executing this one so if we run this one in parent process get pid will get the process id of the parent if we run get pid in uh, child process we will get the pid of the child process and uh, to know the uh, process id of the child process parent will uh, there is one more system call get ppid get ppid will return the process id of the parent so when we execute get ppid in child process we'll get the process id of the parent okay now we'll see the code code sample code uh, how this all is running okay now this is the code for for okay now this is a code in this we are declared a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and we have taken a variable pid in this pid we are storing the return value of for okay now when the parent process uh, now the pro parent process executing okay now parent process executing when it comes here at this instruction fork is executed okay when fork is executed this it will return the process id of the child so now the child process is also created now both run concurrently okay now now as both running concurrently now in current parent process pid pid value is greater than 0 because it is a process id okay now if you pay in parent process it will check if pid equal to equal to 0 as this condition fails it goes into else and parent will execute this part okay and the child in child uh, child start executing from here so in child it will execute for so when it executes for it will return 0 uh, now the pid value will be 0 so in child if uh, this it checks the condition so if pid equal to equal to 0 therefore it child will execute 
this this part of the code child will not execute this okay uh, we will run it and see it okay You can see that the parent, the parent is printing uh, parent ID is nine two six five, and it created its child. The child ID is nine two double six. Okay, and child is printing child ID child ID nine two double six. You can see that parent printed its child ID as nine two double six, and child is showing its pay, its process ID as nine two double six, and you can see that child's Parent process ID is nine to six five, and you can see the parent process ID is nine to six five. Okay, you can see this one. Okay, uh, now you can see this here. A value is ten and B value is twenty. Uh, it's starting. So when it is shared by uh, when it is divided among two process A and B. So A A is uh, different for uh, parent parent process and A is different for child process. So B is also same. Different for parent and different for child. So when, uh, as uh, you can see, that parent will execute this part, uh, else part. So in the else part, parent is decrementing a value. So you can see that a value is decrement. And in child, child is executing if part. In that uh, a value and b value is incremented. You can see that incremented value. Okay. Now we'll just modify something and we'll see how they are running concurrently. Okay. Let's see it here. Here we are making parent to sleep for two seconds. Okay, parent and child also. Both we are both making both to sleep for two seconds. Okay, now we'll see it. Hmm. You are you can see that after uh, parent and uh, child printing its uh, process IDs, they are waiting for two seconds. So they are running concurrently. Parent execute this one, child execute this one. Then the both are waiting, waiting two seconds, and both are printing this one. You can see that running concurrently. Okay. Okay. This is fork. Uh, 